Ciao raga, that in Italian means hi guys and welcome back to my channel. New day, new vlogmas. Today we're gonna talk about the five things that I did for the plot. If you use TikTok, you know. So basically, okay, I'm a millennial, but I'm in love with this concept that is going viral with so many content on TikTok. It's a Gen Z uh, concept, Gen Z trend. The name is for do it for the plot. Basically, the concept is that our life should be like a movie and we should be the main character. And I'm really in love with this concept because I truly believe it's really like that. Like our life, should, we should be the best version of ourselves and our life should be like a movie. We should romanticize our life and we should have a life full of action. Even if that means going out of your comfort zone, because it's when you act that everything, that the miracles happen. So basically it's this concept that when you want to do something and you feel scared for some reason, you should do it for the plot. And I love that. So I start to think about things that I did by myself for the plot. I did many, but I chose five of them that I did, let's say, in the last years and I want to share with you guys. Okay, let's start. Number one. If you follow me for from a long time, you know, if you're new, you're welcome and you're gonna discover it now. During my 20s, I'm 33 right now, I went to study and then to work for five years and a half in Beijing, China. So guys, it was we are talking about, I need to check the year, so it was after high school, I finished high school in 2009, so I think I think it was around 2012 or 2013, because the first time that I went to, I have been to China, it was from my Venice University. I did an exchange program for a uh, for for four months. And I went to study there, but then me and another friend, we fell in love with the city, the vibes, everything. And we decided to come back later to do a second degree in China and then to work there for a little bit. She's, she's still there anyway. Uh, and she's one of my best friends. We were living together. It's a long story. So anyway, guys, it was scary because I mean, we were like... I think 22 or something like that. And I think you cannot imagine, if you are from my generation, you can, otherwise not. The first time that I've been to China, there was no smartphones. Guys, that means no uh, Google on your phone, no Google Maps on your phone, no translator on your phone. Of course, no chat GPT. <laughs> no social media on your phone. There were just Facebook, but the uh, computer version. No WhatsApp, guys. We were still using phones with, you know, buttons like Nokia, that kind. There was some some touch uh, phone, but like cell phone, but not a smartphone. So we were using SMS. Guys, I don't know how we did it because back then nobody, almost nobody could speak English, just the new generation, but like taxi drivers, people at the supermarket, at the bank, whatever, they were speaking just Chinese. Guys, I don't know how we did it, how we explained to the taxi driver every time we were taking a small paper or we were typing on our on a message, on a SMS, the address and showing to the taxi driver. Oh my God, guys, thinking this now, it seems another world. Also, we were going like to club, you know, nightlife with a digital camera to take pictures. Then you need to download them on your laptop and then upload them on Facebook. We didn't know what a selfie was. We didn't know what a fit check was. 
amazing, you guys. It was really an adventure. It was really a life-changing uh, experience. I had so much fun. I learned so many things. It was a way to open my mind, see many cultures. It was amazing. China is something like my second home somehow. And uh, it was really, really interesting. It was difficult, but it was worth it. So guys, it was scary and i think also for my parents because i mean i was young you are going from the other to the other part of the planet you know like time difference so the uh, university was really strict and really difficult but guys i did it for the plot i didn't know at that time that i was the that i was doing that for the plot but now i'm realizing i did it for the plot it was scary but i still did it i still took action okay Number two, <laughs> I sent a letter to my ex-boyfriend. It was like my first love, you know, that kind of love that you have uh, during your teenage time. And there was a moment was where I, like, I was in a bad time and I was in a psychological uh, kind of crisis. And I don't know, he was a kind of safe place for me back then so we already broke up but when i reached that low point i start to feel i mean i broke up with him because i was not in love anymore and but later when i reached that low point my mind start to think that maybe i did a mistake maybe i was still in love with him maybe he was the right one and uh, i didn't understand it i start to like to think these kind of things and I decided to send him a letter I sent a letter like throw like the post service to his office and guys he's working his family um, company and at that time he was dating another girl and they were planning to get married guys I don't know this one was crazy and okay uh he texted me and he said uh, we need to talk blah 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 we met at a cafe and i was crying whatever i said uh, that uh, probably did a mistake that i was still in love blah blah, blah. but he was like uh, that uh, i mean i was the past and this girl was his present and gonna be his future and uh, we just say bye and that's it and for me in that moment it was so difficult and i was crying and i was feeling so bad now i realize thanks god he did like that because i realized that i had other like insecurities problems to solve that was nothing uh about him like just probably i was in a low moment and he was a kind of safe place because uh, we spent a lot of time together in the past. It was a serious relationship. So I don't know, my mind starts to doubt like my choices. But later I realized that I broke up with him because I was not in love anymore. And it was the right choice. I was just in a moment of confusion. I, I was confused and I don't know what crossed my mind and made me send that letter. But I realized that probably if we're gonna come back together, gonna break up again because uh we grew up and i realized that I, that it was a nice love story it was my first love i'm happy that it was him but now that we are adult i realized that he was not the right one that we are too different like we have different uh life ideas lifestyle and everything and uh, different way of thinking so it couldn't be the one so i don't know anyway it was scary to send that letter but i did it for the plot oh my god number three i cut it i cut my hair super short i'm gonna put a picture around here because guys for a mistake the hairdresser burnt my hair and there was no other way like we tried to save my hair in any way possible but there was no other solution and it was scary because i really care about my hair but in a moment i was like 
okay, do it, let's cut, and my hair is gonna grow again. It's fine. Also, at that time, it was that one was that moment, it was my biggest, like, I had my big, not about hair, I was going through a big, like, my biggest psychological crisis that I had in my life. That one was really the biggest. So I was also in a really low point. I didn't know what I was. I didn't. I I felt really lost. Didn't know what I was. Didn't know who I was. What I want to do with my life. It was after graduation when I when I went from school to the work situation. For me, it was really really difficult because I didn't know what I want to do. Or actually, I thought. Because I studied, I graduated in languages. I thought that I want to be first working in a company in the, you know, the, how to say that? That kind of office that uh, manage clients from around the world. But when I tried, I didn't like it. Then I thought I wanted to be a teacher. Starting to teach uh, in China Italian for adults didn't like it then i thought maybe i like to be a teacher but for children starting to teach english in china for uh, children like uh, kindergarten didn't like it and for me it was like i was so sure that i'm gonna like that kind of jobs that when i understood i didn't for me it was like a shock i don't know about your country but i will tell you about italy um here sometimes often it seems that you should know which kind of work you want to do in your life for your entire life and it seems you should know it when you are very very young like around middle or high school and actually who knows at that time i mean i realized what i want to do at 28 years old <laughs> i couldn't at middle or high school but there is this pressure in our school system and i think that this causes a crisis like psychological crisis in a lot of people because actually like basically all the people that i know i think i can count uh, in one hand the people that did the job like that studied something and then actually did exactly that job the most part of the people that i know they studied for example languages and then decided to do marketing they started uh i don't they studied i don't know like uh, economy or these kind of things and then they decided they want to do uh, languages or uh, they studied languages and then decided to do a second graduation in uh, pharmacy or things about medicine or biology or that kind of stuff so completely different uh, topic different different uh, jobs kind of jobs kind of subjects and so on so yeah so for me it was really difficult and i felt really lost and it was in that period that there was this uh, problem with my hair and in a moment i decided that i should renew myself from the beginning so i thought i i decided to see this situation with my hair with something like the universe is telling me something that also my hair gonna be a symbol of a new me a new version a better version of myself a, a person that is working on herself so yeah i was just like okay let's cut it and it's a sign it's my sign also this one it's a sign to start to work on myself from inside and also on the outside so but anyway it was scary guys when i to be honest i cried but i did it so for the plot number four in 2019 around the covid the situation i started to post on social media i started my social media journey uh, I understood that that is my destiny. That was my destiny. And I want to become... Um, I started with TikTok and um, I thought I want to become a TikTok content creator. And I did it. And then I decided that I want to grow other platforms. Now I'm at the point where I want to become a full-time small YouTuber and influencer uh, around YouTube first platform, Instagram and TikTok. And in the future, I would love to have also a podcast. 
So, but guys, starting to post, it was not the, the like the most difficult thing. It was not like the first video that I posted was something about China. The most difficult part was starting to post content where, where, where I was speaking in front of the camera because I was speaking like this, really not comfortable, really embarrassed. And it was difficult, especially because I live in a small village in Northeast Italy and people are always talking, people gonna make fun of you, I'm sure about that. And I know about somebody because some other people told me. Anyway, so it was difficult, but I was already working on myself, so I stopped, I stopped thinking about what other people gonna think. If they gonna judge me, if they gonna make fun, it's their problem. It's This says something about them, not about me. I'm following my dream, and I gotta prove them wrong. I gotta shock them. So guys, it was difficult, but I did it for the plot. Number five, this was around one year and something ago. Okay, there is this guy, he's a model. He has a big community on Instagram. He lives in my area. And um, okay, it's a long story anyway. Um, I saw him sometimes around, but he didn't know who I was. Basically, he didn't know I exist. <laughs> I existed. So I was following him on Instagram and okay, he's handsome, but he's not this the point really. For me, the point is that from what he shares on his stories, I think he he is a really funny and interesting person that share a lot about uh, you need to love yourself you need to be to uh, learn to stay alone with yourself first and then you can stay with somebody else a lot of things about personal growth and he travel a lot many sentences many quotes that he shares i always agree with what he shares i know i like I feel he's a funny and interesting person. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But in one moment I thought, okay, he, he should know that I think this about him and that I exist basically and that we are in the same area. So who cares if he's a model, has a lot of followers, I wanna do it. So one day I literally filmed, I don't know how many stories it was, I think it was, we were, I think we were already in the moment when you could film a one minute story. So I think it was five or six stories, so like five or six minutes talking about him. I tagged him and I was like, I tell all the story, like I explain all the story, like uh, how I knew about him, where, when I saw him the first time, what I thought, and then I started to follow him. And I was like, yes, you are handsome, but not this. But it's not this the point. I think you are really interesting, funny, open-minded. Uh, I like what you share. These kind of quotes, blah blah blah. I said everything what's in my mind about him, and I was like, uh, we are in the same area, uh, but I don't meet you so often. I saw you just a couple of times, and but I didn't want to come there and just tell you I follow you on Instagram. Nice to meet you. I wanted to do something more original, more funny, so I decided to tag you on these stories, hope you uh, gonna see them, and I think we should go out for a drink or something, if you wanna have a coffee or something with me, I'm here. Guys, oh my god, this was so scary, but I did this one really for the plot, and he saw the stories, and he answered, and he was like, you are so funny, you made me laugh so much, and actually, we are uh, talking sometimes uh, through stories, but yeah, to be honest, we didn't have a date or something. He never saw, he never said yes, he never said no. So guys, I don't know if I'm the only one, but to be honest, at 33 years old, uh, after that I worked on myself, I learned to stay alone by myself, I learned to love myself, my, my standards are pretty high and I mean, I would love to find a person that add value to my life. So if that, I'm ready to start a relationship. 
I don't wanna like just settle, you know? And I watched a content that really, I totally agree that basically this guy was like, why the guys always has this, oh, women have so high standards. Come on guys, if a woman work on herself, if a woman love herself, if she day by day try to become a better version of, her, of herself, why she shouldn't have why she shouldn't have high standards of course it's normal and it's the same for men if a person work on herself if a person uh, is on a journey to become a better version of herself or himself of course the standards are gonna be higher it's normal and I totally agree so um, I mean I don't know I don't find I find it difficult to meet interesting people. I don't know if it's uh, my area, if it's because it's a small village or whatever. So when I saw that this guy could be an interesting person and maybe we will never have a date, okay? Maybe he's not interested. Fine, it's part of the game. But I tried because you never know. Maybe one day, maybe, I don't know. Maybe one day I'm gonna meet him on the street and this time I'm gonna just stop and say hi. So who knows? I did it for the plot because you never know. I think it was worth it anyway. Now he know that I exist and sometimes we talk, so better than nothing. So guys, this was my five top things that I did for the plot, even if at that time I didn't realize it, realizing I was doing, doing it for the plot, but uh, for sure I did more but I chose these five because I think it, they were funny they were interesting so let me know in the comments what you did for the plot I hope you enjoy I will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching ciao ciao